Welcome to this video on project planning for thesis writers. Conducting research and writing a thesis is a long-term project and may span several years depending on your particular program. Any long-term project needs planning, needs structure and planning to get it finished. So these are the steps that I'm suggesting, is that you decide on a time scale with an end date, so you begin with the end date. You identify critical milestones that will get you to that end date. Then work out smaller goals that will get you to each critical milestone. And then work out the daily or weekly plans to achieve the smaller goals. So you begin at the end and work your way to the present. So let's look at an example here. Let's say we, um, I want to write the literature review chapter and I've decided that it will take me six weeks. So I've set specific dates, March 1st to April the 15th, and you need to set those specific dates. And then identify the critical milestones. So this is what I need to do to get the literature review uh, chapter done. I need to do a search. I need to read the literature and take notes. I need to write a draft and I need to revise and edit. So for my search and collecting of material, I've allocated one week and set a specific date of March the 7th. For reading and note taking, two weeks, writing a draft, one week, so on and so on, and then added specific dates to it that align with the overall time schedule. Then if you have a look at the smaller goals, we'll just take one critical milestone, the literature search, so looking for materials. This is what I would need to do. I'd need to develop keywords, search the main journals in the field, search the library databases, look up references and key articles, collect books from the library, and there may be other steps. But these are what I've decided, and I've allocated dates, specific dates, that align with my overall time schedule to, to work on these specific tasks. So then if we work, if we look at the daily goals, let's take the 1st of March where I said I would develop keywords. So in order to develop the keywords, I have to note key concepts, brainstorm keywords, free write, talk to my supervisor, to develop a list of keywords for the search. So you can see from this that um, everything moves from the end date to the current date. Now planning for writing is really important because we often, um, we often give way to other things that carry more immediacy and, and writing moves to the bottom of our list of things to do. So it's very important to plan it. And I would suggest that you plan to write when you write best. You know, some people work better in the mornings, others in the evenings. So whatever works best for you, this is the time you want to maximize your writing in. Work out how much time you want for each writing session. Um, you know, if you are really resistant to writing, then set aside 10 minutes a day to work on it. Even 10 minutes a day, you'll see how much work you get done, how much writing you get done if you allocate that. And then put that writing time into your daily calendar. You don't have to write every day, but you want to try and build it in as regularly as possible because this not only keeps your project very upfront and forward in your mind, but it helps you to develop continuity. But if you can write for 25 minutes every second day, um, that's ideal. I just want to go through a few tips that might help you keep to a writing schedule. Um, writing and keeping to a writing schedule is often quite difficult to do. So the first tip I have is to make your writing space very inviting. Play music, light a candle, create a space you want to be in. We often um, approach writing with the idea that we need to punish ourselves with this and if you if you create that space that where you don't want to be there 
uh, it's going to make it much harder for you to write. So create a space that's inviting where you want to be. The second tip is to remove distractions because writing requires perseverance and if there is something that can distract you, it will. So turn off email, Facebook, Instagram, whatever else that draws your attention away from writing, turn it off. Have a goal for each writing session, revise one section, draft two paragraphs, free write something. Uh, if you have allocated only 10 minutes a day, maybe you'll only write one paragraph. But even still, having that goal is so important because then you can see how much writing you are getting done and that your, pro your project is progressing. Use any one of the many writing apps that are available online. The Pomodoro Technique is one, for example, and this is where you write for 25 minutes, take a break for five and write for another 25. There are lots of other apps that are available that will provide you with rewards when you achieve things. So get into the gamification of writing if that helps you. Get a writing buddy, either write individually in the same place or be accountable to that person after your writing session. So tell your writing buddy what your writing goal is what you hope to achieve and whether or not you achieved it. Now you don't want to turn this into a moan session where you just talk about why you're not writing. You want to be able to show progress to that person. And then reward yourself when you achieve a writing goal. So for small tasks, let's say your 10 minute writing, you achieved your goal, take a walk, have a cup of coffee. For larger writing goals, perhaps you finished a chapter, watch a movie, do something you feel guilty about because you're writing a thesis. So again, we often punish ourselves because we feel like we can't do anything fun while we're writing this thesis. So go and do something fun. Um, the only caveat to the rewards is don't reward yourself with food or alcohol because that's going to create other problems. So do something where you will feel good about achieving your writing goal and it'll make you want to write more. So let's look at the key points of this video. Conducting a research, conducting research and writing a thesis is a long-term project. You need to set goals and a time schedule. And you need to set writing goals, particularly in a calendar. Um, you want to mark it in your calendar, almost as if it was a doctor's appointment that can't be missed. And you want to work in an environment that is inviting and free from distractions. And use whatever strategies you can to keep you in your seat when you are writing according to your schedule so that you'll achieve your goal. And if you do this, you'll see how you'll see how amazingly you can write so much even if you're only working 10, 15 minutes a day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helps you.